What's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Corner Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, Nike is taking that shot at another golf-inspired themed sneaker. Now, this is actually pretty fire because they're doing it on an Air Max 1. Now, to put it all together on Wednesday, March 29th, they're going to be releasing their Nike Air Max 1 Always Fresh sneaker. Now, this sneaker is inspired by the Masters Golf Tournament that's going to be held in Augusta, Georgia. Now, keeping it a buck, I feel like they should have released this on Nike Air Max Day instead of just releasing it a couple of days later. It could have been something big and fun for Air Max Day, especially with this being a fire sneaker that they're going to be releasing. I'm not going to trip about it. That's for another story. But let's just hop right into the details of this sneaker and let y'all know the info that's going to be dropping for this Wednesday. Now, like I said, this Wednesday, they're going to be releasing on March 29th. Now, these joints are actually pretty fire because if you look at the sneaker, you see that it's that peach flavor that they are giving. Now, it's well-rounded because it continues to keep the story going, especially with you looking at the sneaker. So to give you the info that everybody is looking for, yes, these are going to be releasing in man sizes. So everybody get their chance at actually getting these sneakers. In addition to that, these are going to be going for 170. Yes, this is a little bit pricey, but it's actually good for the price that it's going for. So jumping into the outer sole, you'll see at the bottom they have this translucent outer sole that they have. It is say always fresh at the bottom. I think that's a great idea. It gives small detail, but of course attention to detail is really important when it comes to sneakers. So this is really good, especially when you're trying to do photos and you're trying to style a little bit. It gives a little bit more flavor to the sneaker. Now as you move up to the midsole, it's something basic. Of course, you will have that white midsole and that's something that's as simple. But moving up is when you start to see the real flavor of this entire sneaker. All right, now getting to the upper on the toe box and the ankle collar, you'll see that this is in a light bone colorway. Now on the toe box, you will see a sport red piece that's on there. Of course, that peach representing for Georgia and starts to bring out the colors that's on this sneaker. Now on the tongue, it looks like a golf themed ticket. Of course, it has the peach Nike information on there, of course, and it just gives that entire golf theme and I think that's a pretty dope vibe. Now getting to the swoosh, it's as simple as it is. It's just a black swoosh, but I think this is a creative idea because if they would have went with something that's red and sticks out like a sore thumb, I think it would have pulled off the vibe of the entire sneaker. It would have just been too much. And we already know that golfing is not an in your face type of thing. It's a laid back type of sneaker. So for them having most of the sneaker being peach, I don't think the swoosh should have been any other color of red. I think it was a great idea to just leave it at black. Now getting to the part that everybody is thinking of, I'm pretty sure that everybody is thinking of, it's this peach color that's on the upper. Now they have this in this rough soft type of suede, which I think it was a great idea because they're actually giving you the feel of a peach. In addition to that, they have this gradient color that's on here. So it goes from a light peach, then you'll start to see it move to a darker burnt orange. I think that was a great idea. And it also gives you that theme of what a peach really does look like. It's not just one tone. It actually shows you that it gets a little darker in certain areas and it's also lighter in certain areas too. Now on the outside of the heel, you will also see some more branded that's on there with Nike, but it actually looks like a sticker. So you will see that on most fruit when you go grocery shopping. So they continue to go along with the entire theme of it being a peach sneakers. Now on the back of the heel, you will see that it has Nike that's printed on the back and it has like this textile font. I think that was a great idea. If it actually has a dope font and it stands out, you got my attention. Now on the inside of the sole, you will actually see that they have the same type of thing that's going on on the upper of this sneaker. So you will have that orange going to a gradient red, burnt orange type of color, and then I have a red piece that's on the inside. All in all together, I think this is a great idea. I think this was a well thought out, creative themed sneaker. Now, if you're a fan of Nike Air Max ones like I am, you already know how big this is gonna be. This is gonna be a huge release, especially with the type of thing that they're gonna release. A lot of people are gonna go for these and these are gonna sell out fast. But in the meantime, between time, drop that comment down below. Let me know if you think these sneakers are hot, if they worth even buying. Do you think they should have released these joints on Air Max Day like I feel like they should have? Drop that comment down below and let me know what's up. But in the meantime, between time, I'll catch up with y'all next time. Thank y'all for joining in on the video. We back with sneaker videos on YouTube. I'll catch up with y'all next time. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.